So we're going to need people that have got um, either drawings or other kinds of uh, wind power stuff that they've set up and they use. Yeah. People with electrical that. experience. Yeah, just any any kind of experience along them sort of lines. Or the, the main one that we really want to get into is like the stuff like the suppressed information that's being kept from us. Like Nikolai Tesla, where he tapped into the Earth's residence and had free energy without using fossil fuels. Yeah, absolutely. We could, um, obviously, there's a lot of plans out there for the magnetic devices that a few people have been building. And they're not something yeah. I suppose you could, you know, start really quickly on an eco village site, but it's definitely worth getting the plans because you never know. If you put that, you know, if you put that intent out there and you want to create something, then you never know what opportunities might might turn up and help you build something. So it's always useful to have even the most ambitious yeah. plans with you, even though you've just started out. It's like there's so many good comments going on the discussion boards about the free energy and loads of other information. It's just a shame that <laughs> where we've been going around up and down the country, we haven't had time to like read all the brilliant information that everybody's putting into it. No, yeah. but we did meet some interesting people like when we were hitching as well, people who were doing stuff with... Uh, water you know like um sewage and things like i know it all sounds not very interesting but it becomes very interesting when you're setting up communities and um yeah, yeah. this guy who who'd been in africa sort of you know working on uh, like water resources and um all that kind of stuff and he gave us loads of information didn't he and that's just hitching around this is just people that you randomly meet um, yeah yeah there's um it, it's a, an interesting it'd be an interesting point actually that a lot of the stuff that we need to start looking at is what's going on in the third world because to a degree there's a, a great deal of parallel to setting up an, an eco-friendly village I think he was talking about ammonia being a resource for energy you see like from toilets um, and all this kind of stuff and how they've sort of done that set that up in um, in this um which country was it? Was it yeah. um, But using the ammonia off sewage in order to sort of uh, heat water and stuff like that for the house. It was like really oh, right. like a stuff he'd actually done. So it was really interesting. He's probably yeah, yeah. Awesome. Going back to the, the the London swoop. Now I've got the. Um, the very useful Facebook group for anyone that didn't hear the, the plug for it before. Uh, the Facebook group is called Freeman, all one word, Eco Village. Freeman Eco Village. And one of the, the recent updates that you guys put out um, is about the London swoop. Um, you found some land in London, you're ready to go. So the invitation is out there uh, for anyone to get involved at any level whatsoever even if it's just a visit for a couple of hours or to get involved in the actual swoop itself and building the structures um, obviously you'll need to build things like uh, the benders, the cob structures, chicken coops, compost toilets, permaculture planning, um, planting, beekeeping I'm just reading some of the, the information from there um, so you're gonna post the meeting place and the date very soon um, yeah. It's an open invitation uh, to visit, even if you can't be there on the day of the swoop. And or if you can just well, be there on the day of the swoop, like at um, a queue, um, it was there were seventy on the first day and six stayed um, all over the country, just to sort of be part of the first day. Yeah, absolutely. So, you are you still going ahead and having a, a pre-swoop meeting this Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if anybody does want to get involved uh, this Saturday, and this will just be because we've got a little pond on the land, we want to make it like all tidy, uh, ready for people to come down, have a little party the first night, and then like build and uh, people that want to stay and really get involved and meet and do workshops, whether it be workshops and whatever, like from yoga to law workshops. The Skype channel that's best to catch you both on, for anyone who wants to get involved, um, your your Skype user is Dominic dot of dot the dot Lohan dot family, and one of the best places, obviously on on Facebook, is the Free Man Eco Village group. Um, do you want any of these mobile numbers reading out over the radio? 
Yeah, you can give uh, mobile numbers out because if, if people are not going to email or anything like that and they'd rather send a text, then we'll write it down in the book and when we're going to do this swoop, we'll do a collective uh, email out to people and text is out to people, let them know um, when and where to meet us and the rest of it. All right, excellent. So um, get a pen and paper ready, folks, if you're, if you're interested in the London swoop. Um, telephone numbers 077-270-46200. Alternatively, 07864-845803. Um, are you still attached to Skype on your phone as well in case people want to get hold of you through Skype? Yeah, that, that's why it's quite easy to get hold of me because uh, where I've got free Skype on my phone, obviously I can use it quite a bit. Excellent, fantastic. Just remind everybody that, that all those phone numbers and details can be got off the Facebook. Exactly. Yeah. These um, these details are all posted in the Facebook group Freeman Eco Village. So if anyone missed those, um, as I usually do, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're in there. Now, we we briefly touched on energy, but going back to a sort of overview to give people um, an idea of what order maybe things should be done. Um, we've spoken about looking for land, and ideally you're looking for uh, derelict land preferably that the community doesn't like. Uh, maybe a, a corporation's just used it and abused it and, and left it and it's just deserted brownfield or or even maybe polluted land that you can clean up with raised beds or whatever. So on looking for an actual site, um, is there anything more you could you could add to that or, or have, I, have I covered it pretty much? Yeah, you've co covered it pretty much. You know what I mean? But like at the end of the day, what Murphy said earlier is definitely so important you, you can't just go on to um, a picturesque piece of land and then try and uh, have this I don't like using the word battle or fight or whatever but like when, when you have these interactions with the government and, and if you do lose they're going to go in and uh, concrete all over and then go and build the flats or whatever that the community were against in the first place and then you've got the community's backs up so when you go and try and do your next project they're not going to be on side because they would have heard about what happened. So it's just about keeping everybody happy and keeping the peace everywhere. Excellent. Yeah, the absolutely. The point of, of fighting um, bailiffs and people like that when you haven't done the right, you know, what I right would process. think is the right process in court. You know, if you've basically consented in court to be under the authority of the court, then that's what you've done. If you're then going to start like putting yourself up in tripods, um, you know, so the, the bailiffs will come in with bulldozers and they'll trash it straight away. And one of the things that I hoped at Q, but because we served affidavits, Dom and I could have gone back on, so they may have done it anyway. But what I sort of suggested was that we took down everything and left it like in an, an you know, if we couldn't take it with us leave it in a neat pile so that they didn't trash the land and that maybe the animals and the plants and that, and that could live for longer um, yeah. rather than them just doing it straight away just to keep people off. Yeah. Um, then there were people who wanted to fight and all the rest of it, so that, that didn't happen. And, of course, it now is flat rubble. It's just got hardcore all over it. it it's Absolutely. Beautiful. Yeah. So... Yeah. You've got the land, um, you've got a place in mind, um, you've got a few people together. Um, yeah. How many people minimum do you think you would need to, to get started? Well, we had half a dozen at Q. Um, 